So you're having trouble editing 4K footage, GoPro footage, slow motion footage, your computer's struggling, and I've spoken in the past about using optimized media, but I haven't gone into detail about how to use proxy media files. So let's get into that now. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, let's try to make this quick. Bottom right hand corner, there's a gear icon. This is our project settings. Um, under master settings, we're going to go down to proxy media format. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna choose ProRes 422 proxy. If you're on a PC, it might be DNX HD. Um, as long as it's a lower format than the full version of your files, you, you should be good there. And I also reduce the resolution by half. That means if I have 4K footage, I'm gonna get 1080p files out of that. And as you'll see, we're actually gonna play those back at half of that, so like 720p. So it's just those two settings that we need in there. Hit save. And we go to the media tab down here. I mean, you could do it from now in DaVinci Resolve. Now you can actually access the media um, on almost every tab there. So that's good, but we are gonna do it from the media tab. We'll select all of our footage and we're gonna right click and click on generate proxy media. Actually, I'll make a quick note of this. If you have different folder structure here with, uh, let's say you have GoPro footage and your uh, main camera footage, uh, cell phone footage, and you've created folders for each one of those. One of the easiest ways, rather than going into each folder, selecting it, right clicking, and choosing generate proxy media, and then waiting for it to finish because it actually locks up your machine until it finishes, and then going to the next folder, you can select all of the ones in the different folders just by going to smart bins. You right click down here in the empty area and hit add smart bin, and just hit create. And just by default, it's gonna grab all the footage that you have. Um, I don't actually want this for this tutorial. I just want the test footage. I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna right click and click on generate proxy media. Now this could take a while if you have a lot of footage. So you may need to run this batch, go away, do something else and come back to it. Done. Um, we'll go into edit here. I already have a timeline. Those are our files. So let's just bring one up in the viewer. And so we wanna go up into playback and make sure that use proxy media if available is checked. And also timeline proxy mode, rather than off, we want this at half resolution. So like I said, we already created half resolution, but we want it to play back at half of that because this is just a small window. And when the screen is squished down to that size, you're still seeing pretty much what you would see with the full version of the file, except that it's not having to process the whole version of the file. So it's gonna, it's gonna play back a lot quicker. So let's, let's quickly look at this here. See how we can scrub? No problem at all, right? So that's all there is to it. Uh, I will show you this one other thing. If you go into the bottom right-hand corner again, the project settings, and if you find that you're, you've been creating a lot of proxy files and your computer's getting filled up full of those proxy files, because it doesn't delete them, you have to manually delete them if you want to get rid of them. So what I do is go down here, it says working folders, uh, proxy file generation location. I just select that and I copy it. And then I'll go to uh, the operating system folder projects let's say see. see these are the proxy files here and the way that we know that is when I select it it says 1920 by 1080 so these are 1080p files and my actual original footage is 4k so I know that these are just the proxies so it's fully safe to go in here and delete these um, but we will want to unlink them on the other side too. I'm doing this in reverse order here, but I'll move that to trash. And then back in the project, if I select, I can right click and hit unlink proxy media. See, it has the X there. That's because I deleted them beforehand, which you wouldn't normally do, but okay. So now they're disconnected. If I select them again, right click, see there's not, no issue there. Well, that's about it for this video. Go ahead, try that out. Uh, set it up, edit your project. Let me know how it works out in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.